If Charlotte could be anything she wanted to in the world, what would she be? A ballerina. Describe Charlotte. She's beautiful and happy. Charlotte is very good at, at peeling bananas. Charlotte would, um, Charlotte would definitely be kind to you. Charlotte is um, a bit chubby, uh, but she's cute. Would you ever tell Charlotte that she's fat? No, that's rude. Do you think Charlotte's had a hard life? Charlotte has had a hard life, yes. Because uh, people mistreated her. Before Charlotte came to Auntie Ally, she was called names. What do you think Charlotte would say to people that call her names? I think Charlotte would say, I don't like that. She would say, that's rude. I think Charlotte had a difficult life and it, oh, the conditions weren't um, suitable for her to live like that anymore. So she had to be removed and placed in a home of care. When Charlotte first arrived, she was very grumpy. Um, I think she felt very insecure because she didn't really know um, what was happening to her. To be taken from one home and placed in another, I think, is a huge thing. Um, and we did have a laugh or two because she used to run at us. And um, I think a lot of people were really frightened of her because they didn't understand her. I feel that I can speak with animals or speak animal language. So when Charlotte first arrived on our property, the standard joke was, I don't speak pig. I have to learn how to speak pig. Um, and when we had Georgina the peahen, I had to learn how to speak peacock language. And it was very interesting because it was a different wasn't it so they do understand sound and they all do have a different language and i think in their world if you can live like this i think a lot of people have disharmony and with their animals because they don't have a universal animal language so my dogs my cat my pig my ducks my geese I try and get everybody to speak like a funny galore <laughs> instead of pig or dog. We all speak the same universal language of respect and love and kindness. It's my belief animals have feelings. It's, I, since I was born, I have always had a connection to animals and they've been my best friends when I was little and I could talk to them and I could, I could feel how they were feeling. So um, I don't think it's the same emotions that we have, um, but they certainly have feelings. Um, if I cry, and I'm sure many people have experienced this, my animals know when I'm sad and they come and they give me more comfort than when I'm happy or when I'm ecstatically happy and having a good old giggle. They come in and want to join in. So I definitely think that you, they can feel energy and vibration. So possibly the word feeling, when people hear that they go, no animals don't understand that. So maybe we're using the wrong terminology but they pick up on essence, they pick up on being and what is happening around them, in my opinion. What makes Charlotte happy? Well, Charlotte, she loves, first thing in the morning, that's like the best start to her day because she gets the breakfast. She's very food motivated. She loves food. She loves it. And she has favorite food. So what makes her happy? Well, she gets a treat of strawberries or Millie on the cob. Or every time I go to work, I work on the same property. So I'm up and down between my house and my work. 
every time I come through that gate and she hears the click on the gate, she gets up, her ears are up and she comes after me because that's, she's going to get an apple or she's going to get a strawberry or she's going to get a milli. <laughs> so that's what makes her happy. I would love to say something else, but it's not true. Say. that she loves me and seeing me makes her happy that's not true it's just the food <laughs> that's true it's just the food no she does love me no she does she does i have people see her um react to me or um i can call her and i say charlotte and then these little ears go zing 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 so she knows my voice and i think she she can relate to me. I'm her mama. <laughs> I'm her mama pig. <laughs> oh, dear. Do you think Charlotte will live her dreams? Probably. Yeah, she, yeah, she would live her dreams. <laughs>